Hello. Uh, this is a 2005 Kawasaki STX 900 jet ski. Now I've ran into a problem recently on the lake where it seemed like it went into limp mode right when I got on the water. I uh, pretty much could not get past five miles per hour on it. Uh, sounds a lot like a rev limiter. Um, I mean, very limited amounts of power. Um, there is limiters on these from what I understand and they can be caused uh, by a few different things. I think one of them's temperature, one of them's uh, like ignition, you know, like spark, spark plugs, uh, yeah, a few other things like if a CDI goes out or something. Um, I kind of went through the list uh, as best I could. And I, I went through and I changed all the spark plugs um, to iridium ones. There is a, a nice uh, aftermarket spark plug. Uh, that NGX makes. It's the BR9EIX. And I actually got that from an auto parts store, but they did have to order it for me. They're pretty nice. But I went through and I trimmed the cable too. On this cable here, you can trim these. Uh, basically, you just uh, snip it and screw it, or unscrew this, snip this wire a little bit, like a quarter inch or less, and put it back in. That's just to ensure that you got a good connection on the spark plugs. Uh, I did all that. I still had the same problem. Uh, whether I be out here running it or on the shore, no, made no difference. Uh, still the same problem. Um, so basically I would start it up. Sometimes it would rev nice and good and high and I think, okay, it, the problem fixed itself. Uh, uh, but then a few minutes later, it would start cutting out like it was hitting the rev limiter. Um, I did find somebody's idea on the internet later on uh, that replicated my solution, um, but it was very hard to find. And so basically I'm making this video just for other people like me that uh, if you search it, maybe this will pop up. This video will pop up and it'll be a quick solution for you. Hopefully I didn't make it too long already. Um, I was fiddling around with what could have caused that to happen. When it was doing the rev limiter thing, and I mean, the engine just kind of like hitting the rev limiter, do, 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 kind of a sound like that. I, I went to this wire here and I found the end of it where it clips in to the rest of the wire harness, which is, that little white plug right there, the two wire white plug right in there. And I was able to disconnect it. And as soon as I did that, um, I noticed something changed on it, but it's still rev limiter. Uh, so I reset it, meaning I just turned it off and started it up again. And from that point on, I had no issues. I was like, no way. And uh, so just to replicate it and to make sure that was the issue, I plugged it back in, started it, and it ran fine for a few minutes, and then it went back into that rev limiter. Um, so I disconnected it when it was running, and it stayed in the rev limiter. Once I turned it off and turned it back on, it was out of it. So basically, um, once it's stuck in that rev limiter mode, I think it basically will stay there until you uh, turn it off and turn it back on. But I found that to be my problem. This little guy right here. Uh, it's 14 millimeter, I believe. Uh, I bought a new one, um, but when I was taking it apart, I wanted to run it for this video so that you could hear the noise that it makes, and I cannot get it to go back into that rev limiter limp mode. So. Just keep in mind, if you can't find one of these guys for pretty cheap, maybe just bust it loose, clean it off, and put it back on and see if that fixes your issue. But that was it. Uh, that fixed my problem, and hopefully um, it'll help somebody out uh, so they don't have to do hours of reading like I did. And, you know, the, the heads-up display hasn't worked forever, you know, uh, so it's not going to tell me anything. So you... You know, you have to figure it out on your own if you don't have something telling you, I guess. Another thing I figured I should mention that I found out with these, and this was easy to find on the internet, but I figured I'd throw it in for this video. Um, when I was trying to trace down the problem that ended up being this, this guy, um, I was trying to chase down uh, whether or not the engine was cooling property, properly. I had the hose run into it, you know, and cooling it and uh, while it was running, and, you know, I just felt it with my hand. 
It should feel just as cold as the water once water's pouring through there. This should feel cold. The cylinders or jugs should feel cold. Um, the exhaust uh, manifold or whatever down there should feel, you know, relatively cold. Nothing should feel hot. Some might feel warm, but not hot, but even excessively warm, um, you know, there might be an issue with circulation. What well, wasn't my problem? Oh, by the way, also, I guess water comes out of here too. I think that's, that's, uh, it's called the pee hole or something. But anyways, water comes out of there too. So, and also, you know, water makes its way through all these lines that go into the engine. So they should all be clear and free of obstruction, which is what I was thinking might've been causing me to go to the limp mode. But anyways, while I was doing all this, I noticed that this jug here was getting warm. Um, come to find out if you are testing or doing that test on quote unquote a bench or a trailer. And if you're like me, you've got it jacked up pretty high so that water drains off it when you're not using it. Um, that elevation difference from the front to the back can actually uh, kind of prevent water from getting to this jug to cool it. Now, I think it is cooling it uh, a little bit, probably just by, you know, heat transfer. Like uh, this one might be cooling off this one. But basically this jug was getting a little warm and these ones were cold very cold to the touch and this one was getting pretty warm so I thought there might be an issue. As soon as I leveled it out and ran it again you could not tell there was any difference in temperature on these jugs. So don't freak out if that's the case make sure you level it out uh, and then you can move on once you realize everything's being cooled properly and all your coolant pass it all your water passages are cleared. <clears throat> but yep that's the video hope this helps you.